Hi everybody, we have a brand new off-road machine to show you today. Meet the Ineos Grenadier. The Grenadier is coming to market with a focus on utility and off-road ability over all else. This truly is function over form. The Grenadier is the brainchild of Jim Ratcliffe, a British billionaire and CEO of Ineos Chemicals. He is looking to fill a hole in the market that the Land Rover Defender left behind. In fact, Radcliffe tried to buy the rights to produce the Defender from Land Rover to continue building that model when it left the market back in 2016, but Jaguar Land Rover wasn't selling. Ratcliffe then fought JLR in court as the company tried to trademark the shape of the Defender, though they ultimately failed. And now we see the fruits of Ratcliffe's efforts with the Grenadier. Though today we only have these images and video to share with you, Ineos did not provide any real concrete details on the SUV. We do know that it will be built in Bridgend, South Wales, with production set to begin at the facility in 2021. Ineo says that customers will actually have Grenadiers in their driveway by 2022, and yes, it will be coming to the United States. According to Ratcliffe, the Grenadier project started by identifying a gap in the market abandoned by a number of other manufacturers. It is clear from the photos that the designers were heavily influenced by older Land Rover models, especially the Defender, picking up with the boxy styling that the classic British brand has all but abandoned. There are also hints of the Mercedes G-Class here, and that's not surprising when you know that Magna, the same company that built the G, also helped with development of the Grenadier. Power will come from a 3-liter turbocharged BMW power plant, either gas or diesel depending on your taste. Of course, numbers on that engine and off-road stats are unavailable at this time. Same with images of the interior. Now we do know the Grenadier will be body on frame, there will be a pickup truck version that is in the works, and we can see in these photos a set of BF Goodrich KO2s appear to be the factory stock tires. A pure off-roader is hard to find these days without going into the power sports world, as our trucks and SUVs are all growing more complex by the year. So it is always nice to hear of a company that prioritizes off-road ability and utility over all else rather than trying to please the masses. We'll save our true judgment of the vehicle until we can drive one, but for now, it looks like Ineos is going down the right path with the Grenadier, and we're excited to have another off-road SUV join the fray. That's it for this video, everyone. Please go below, leave me a comment, let me know what you think of the Ineos Grenadier. We still have a while to wait for this thing, but I am excited. And as always, down, while you're down there, hit like, hit subscribe, and then come right back here to the channel for the latest news, views, and real-world reviews. See ya.